Okay, good morning. We are Tim Amuse from Columbia University. I'm Gil, I'm a professor of electrical engineering and computer science. The team is led by uh, Varun Gupta and Craig Gutterman. Varun is a fifth year PhD student. He gained experience in Google, Microsoft Research, and Bell Labs. Craig is a second year PhD student. He received both the NSF Graduate Fellowship and the NSF IGERT Fellowship. We've been working closely with Dr. Igal Bejerano from Bell Labs. Igal has been with Bell Labs for over 15 years. He has more than 70 patents and more than 60 publications. We now show you a video of our journey through the Combine program. We are Team Amuse from Columbia University. Along with Bell Labs, over the past four years, we have been developing the Amuse system for wirelessly sending video to very large crowds. Wi-Fi Unicast does not scale to hundreds or thousands of users. We demonstrated that Wi-Fi Multicast can support hundreds of users. We joined the NYC Media Lab Combine program, aiming to identify the customer needs and the actual problems that Amuse can solve. We conducted 100 interviews and identified multiple potential applications, including theaters, concert halls, conference centers, lecture halls, amusement parks, and airports. However, we quickly realized that there is a huge potential in sports. We started with the sports team's IT managers and continued to a fan engagement conference where we interacted with digital marketers and team executives. We learned that less people come to the games since their home watching experience is excellent. Therefore, teams are looking for new ways to bring the fans back to the stadium. We realized that Amuse can deliver the home experience at the game. Amuse will add to the team's mobile application different live views, replays, and behind-the-scenes coverage. It will allow the teams to deliver unique additional content at a low cost by using the existing Wi-Fi infrastructure. While very large venues can afford installing hundreds of Wi-Fi access points, numerous smaller venues cannot make such investments. They can obtain a significant added value from Amuse by leveraging their existing networks. Through the fall, we plan to deploy with Columbia Basketball. We will then expand to other Ivy League schools and similar-sized arenas. As we expand to larger venues, we plan to partner with the Nokia Cellular Multicast Solution and leverage their marketing power. While Amuse initially stood for Adaptive Multicast Services, we now aim to amuse the fans. And so, as you've seen, our objective is to bring the home sport watching experience to the stadium. We want this guy sitting there to be able to see on his mobile device live close-up views, replays, and so on, in the same quality that he sees on his 60-inch TV at home, while enjoying all the social benefits of being at the game. Why are we doing that? Recent surveys, and especially the Cisco fan survey, show that ticket sales are declining, and one of the major reasons is the poor multimedia experience compared to the home experience. For example, 32% of the fans indicated that their limited ability to see replays negatively impacts their experience in stadium. Moreover, 39% of the fans indicated that sitting too far affects their engagement with the game. What are teams doing in order to solve it? They are already trying to send video to the mobile devices of the fans, and we actually went to a Nets game using your budget. <laughs> and uh, try to see how it works. So you see here a video that we took on our phone when we were using the Nets app, and the video is supposed to provide you, or the app is supposed to provide you replays, but you see that the quality is relatively poor. How will we solve that? Basically, we have been developing, along with Bell Labs, over the past four years, the Amuse system, which is based on multicast. In Multicast, you send several streams of video to all the users at the same time from one access point. You can see the access point at the top. This is compared to the current technology that uses Unicast. In Unicast, you have to separately send different streams to different users. Due to the limited bandwidth, in order to, send, uh, to serve thousands of users, you really need hundreds of access points. This is very difficult to deploy and implement. So we've developed this along with Bell Labs. We have several <coughs> research papers and several uh, uh, pa joint patents with Bell Labs. We also have demonstrated the system in a large-scale testbed, and you can see here behind me the testbed with 200 receivers back in Rutgers University where the system currently operates. So as we move it from a technology to a product, 
Basically, the fans in the stadium would be able to see replays and close-up views even when sitting in the nosebleed sections. And they will even be able to see other games that take place at the same time. Okay. To better understand the market and the customer needs for Amuse, uh, we, we went to the comment program where we interviewed over 100 customers. So we, we talked to the end users who are actually watching the game, to the executives of the sports teams who are really trying to enhance the fan experience of the game. We talked to information technology specialists at several organizations as well as network operators across the US, Europe, and Japan. We talked to the engineers at equipment vendors such as Nokia, Qual Qualcomm, et cetera. So we realized during our interviews that our core customer segment uh, are the team executives who are trying to enhance the sports experience of the users. And to focus more on the segment, we went to the annual sports fan engagement con conference in Charlotte, North Carolina. There we interacted with executives all the way from college sports to professional teams, as well as operators of large venues such as NASCAR and Prudential Center. We learned that these executives are trying to enhance the game watching experience in two ways. The first one is by allowing fans to engage more on social media. And the second one, by, by providing them more game-specific content, such as replays or different views of the game at the stadium. Obviously, a key driver that can enable such experiences in the stadium is the wireless technology at the stadium. So we talked to network operators, we talked to team executives, and we found out that teams are willing to invest a lot of money uh, in building new wireless technologies. Typically, uh, de deployment of such technologies can cost anywhere between five to $10 million. And the these deployments are not easy. For example, it took 1,200 access points for this year's Super Bowl game at, at the Levi's Stadium. Time Warner Cable deployed 300 access points at, for the US Open here in New York. Now, given all the customer demands and the team's needs, uh, making such investments is not possible for all the venues. And this is where Amuse comes in. Amuse can allow stadiums to leverage their existing Wi-Fi infrastructure to provide high quality video content to the fans. At a, and Amuse leverages Wi-Fi multicast technology, which is a, a more cost-effective solution. So here you can see an example of the app uh, that the fans can, can have on their smartphones. And it will allow them to watch replays, highlights of the game, and live statistics at, at the stadium. So now what is the actual Amuse product? So Amuse ha is composed of three components. The A in the Amuse stands for the access point. We provide a software that can be installed on the access point. The MU stands for the mobile users. The mobile users in the app that from which they can watch the multicast video from the access point. And the third, SE stands for the server. The server basically collects the video and sends it to the access point. Based on interactions with Nokia and Cisco, we estimate that the market size for delivering video in stadiums is $100 million per year. Leagues with large venues, such as the NFL and NASCAR, are not the only ones that can benefit from Amuse. There are many smaller venues that can benefit from Amuse due to their limited Wi-Fi infrastructure. These stadiums are easier to penetrate and easier to compete in, and therefore we want to focus on these venues first. We will work with Columbia Athletics to deploy Amuse in the basketball arena by the fall. From there, we want to expand to other small venues, such as those in the Ivy League. And after we go there, we want to diversify to even larger venues, such as the US Open, where we talked to Time Warner Cable about, and SoftBank Stadium in Japan, where we talked to one of their lead engineers. Now, as we expand, we will partner with Nokia who will deploy their cellular solutions, and we will leverage their marketing channels. While we will consider expanding to even larger venues, we all want to also focus on other verticals. We believe Amuse can offer great value in delivering video, wireless video content to conventions, concerts, lecture halls, airports, and amusement parks. I'm Miguel Bejirano. I am from Bell Labs. I am uh, working with this team from Columbia University during the last four years, and it was quite a journey. Um, we started with the ambition of content distribution to in crowded areas. We developed a, pro a proven uh, technology that worked in practice. Uh, we joined the Amuse, sorry, we, we joined the combined program. It, it helped us to understand the customer needs. It helped us to understand how to improve the system. Based on that, we developed, improved the system, and the team in Columbia is planning to deploy the system in different venues with the objective of taking this technology and make the, bringing the user experience, the, the home watching experience to the stadiums. 
Now, before we actually thank you and disappear, we would like to use this opportunity to thank all the people of the combined program. Definitely, special thanks to Justin, you were amazing. Satish, you are amazing as well. <laughs> and actually, in all the team that you have, Amy and Leslie and Ali, that I cannot see it here, I think that was, this was a great experience. Thank you very much. On behalf of all the participants, it was great.